Reininger Surratt is, is an absolute beautiful grape. I love working with it. It's one of the more challenging wines that we make here. It's uh, usually a blend of uh, Pepper Bridge and Seven Hills Syrah. And the style in which I make it, I try to accentuate the uh, Syrah varietal character itself, which is made up of so many wonderful little nuances. The first time I saw Syrah crushed and Chuck taking care of it, he was doing something unusual that I hadn't seen before. And that was, um, he was taking stems from the stemmer uh, and putting them back in with the grapes during fermentation. And I was curious, why are you doing that? And apparently, sometimes the stems are um, dry enough or brown enough, I don't know the technical term, but they will actually add flavor back to the wine. It's almost like a tea kind of effect. I get a lot of wine tasters in, that come in and uh, I think one of the, the last things they think they're going to leave with is a bottle of Syrah. You know, it, it was quite the trendy wine a few years ago and, um, you know, there's a lot of fabulous Syrahs out there, but I think one thing that really makes Reiniger Syrahs and, um, and Walla Walla Valley Syrahs stand out is uh, the uniqueness behind them. You can have a, a, a beautifully lush, velvety, uh, sort of New World style Syrah, and then right next to it you can have a rustic, earthy, Old World style Syrah, which uh, which really, it, it teaches people how, um, how unique Washington wines are and, and um, how diverse the Walla Walla Valley Syrahs are. And uh, definitely people leave here with a, with a smile on their face after tasting the Syrahs. One of our earliest distributors who picked this up um, in you know, probably 1998, when we first started, um, is Vindegard in uh, Portland. And the reason he says he was so um, enthralled with Reininger was because Chuck Syrah, and he has told me on a number of occasions that he thinks Chuck is one of the best Syrah winemakers in the Northwest. And 